Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today, since we didn't get to it in the last video, we are actually going to work on these. And these are going to be, I'm just calling them book plates, so they can be for the outside of a journal. So, um, I wasn't thinking and did not have the bases ready with the, um, I have this textured paste, it's crackle. And then I have just some of this regular uh, textured paste translucent gloss. So that's what I put on those tags, if you guys caught that video. Um, the tags that was inspired by uh, Tracy Fox, uh, that's what I had used on those. So, you know, since I have found my mute button, finally, um, I figured I would just let you guys watch that and we could do that together. And then I could pause you guys and go and dry it. And then come back and we can start up again. So if you remember, these are actually made. Um, this is just a piece of scrapbook paper. Just the thin paper. It's not the thick stuff. Um, and I took and glued a piece of the bark on there. Um, then I took... Uh, what did I do? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, I know what I did. Uh, just took some silver paint. I actually think it was just this metallic... Uh, brushed metallic this is folk art i got that on markdown or closeout or clearance or whatever it was at walmart um put a little bit of that on there for the silver and highlighted some of these little edges if you can see that that's sticking up that's why i figured my first thought was tags but the way these are sticking up and that dimension it would probably be better for a cover um i don't think i could get that to go down either um i did put that glue um over the top of it to try to protect it a little bit you know, from crumbling and falling apart. And then I just took some, I think I did this, the Vintage Photo uh, Distressed Spray Stain uh, by Ranger. And I just spritzed some of it on it. And this is what we got. Um, and again, I did those from a 12 by 12 um, paper pad and just cut them up. So, I guess we can get started. Um, and all this is, is Am uh, Amazon Box. Uh, and I just tore it down and then tore some of this off because I like being able to see the ridges. I didn't do it all the way because when you do that, it makes it um, really, like, flimsy. All right. So I have this handy-dandy tool. Yeah, this came from my kitchen. I have no idea what it is. Don't think I've ever used it. I think I bought this set of silverware back in 2006. So it might be almost vintage. Who knows? Um, so this is going to be our little spreader thing because I don't have one of those fancy smashy thingies that true artists and uh, painters actually use. I have no idea what you call it. So, But we are going to just... Oh, okay. And I did something else too, guys. Um, so on the tags that I did, I realized that we were covering a lot up uh, with the elements that we put on it. So I actually have pencil marks here which shows where this goes and i mean i'm gonna put some behind it but it's gonna be a very very thin layer um behind these marks and i'm not going to put um you know much on it or you know much on it it will will i think maybe um help secure it to it maybe but i just wanted to um kind of pay attention to where those edges are um, so that I can use my stuff over here on the outside pieces of it more than um, the pieces that we know we're going to cover up because that didn't make a lot of sense to me so we will go just a little bit heavy on the outside and this is all I have of this so I hope I have enough to do all three of these I had actually just opened it up um, for the first time to do those tags never played with paste all right so I think that's gonna do it for that one of course I'm getting it everywhere so then we will just move on to this one again just getting a thin layer behind here and then we'll go thicker around these oops come back here outside edges here 
and then once these are dry we're actually going to start out by going over them with um, some black paint to start kind of as a base and then just go from there and see where it takes us because I have no idea where it's going to take us alright I think that one's good enough I'm not going to um, fuss about it too much um, did get a wet washcloth try to stay cleaned up just a little bit and I'm hoping you know for my sake because I've been up since like five o'clock and here it is yeah after 9 30 but I've just been taking it easy I went and sat out on the oh and it is Thursday when I'm filming I guess I can let y'all know what day it is um, and of course it's my off day and thank the Lord I had no appointments it just feels like here lately I've had you know doctor's appointments and this appointment and that appointment and it's like I'm ready just to well last la, well yeah last Thursday I had my appointment at the cancer center I think that was oh did I just stick my arm in that good job Lori um anyway I think I did I have no clue I have the memory of a carrot these days and alright guys so I think that's enough of that oh after this layer we're gonna have to do this layer um, so yeah let me put the lid on this and then I'm going to pause you guys and take these and dry them and we will be right back okay guys yay that didn't take long at all okay so we got these all cra um, cracked okay so I have the crackling on my mind um, got them all dry because I was gonna tell you guys it was really cool watching this dry and seeing it crackle as it dried really really cool okay so now we're gonna do some of this this is also textured paste but it's not crackle and it says it's uh, translucent gloss and then this I am just going to like concentrate on the outside edges here um, since you know that's the part that's going to be showing. Um, so yeah, and again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how people normally use this stuff. Uh, I think I've seen um, Gail um, like use the stencil with this stuff, I believe. Um, so yeah that was pretty cool but the stenciling stuff is not really the look that I'm going for because um, we're gonna be uh, what am I doing uh, painting all over these And now the last one, and again, I will pause you guys, and I apologize for that, but I do not know how to edit and speed up videos, so that's why it's not going to um, do that. So you guys will be able to see, which I know I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen people do this before how it will just add a little bit of um, dimension there okay all right so we got our sophisticated tool all clean so I'm gonna throw the top on this and then I am going to make sure I put the top on this one good move it aside because we're done with that I'm going to pause you guys and go dry those and I'll be right back okay guys back so that part is done so if you will see I don't know if you can really see but do you see how this one is bowing up 
um, if you can see that, see how it's turned. Okay, so what Tracy had uh, suggested, you see these are flat. That's because I did this, flattened them out, and we're fixing to do that one. What she suggested when you dry it is it looked like she drew it, dried it some this side just a little bit, and then she flipped it over and did the dryer on this side. She said that way it would help keep it from uh, buckling up. Um, however, my counters, because I actually went to my bathroom and did it with a hair dryer, um, they're just, I mean, they're a really light color, marble um, color, so I didn't want to flip it over and get anything on it, so yeah. So, look, this right here seems to work just as well. Just give it a little bend back, and it will be straight enough, because um, when we glue it down to something, it's going to be good anyway. Okay, so now we have this. So, now let's roll up the sleeves and hope for the best. Now, what are we going to do? I'm going to start out with black. So, I will get the uh, bigger paintbrush out of this water here. And we will use it. Um, and we're going to be doing some with my, you know, with our fingers. And then I have these little makeup spongy thingies. And I don't have a lot of black, so I'm really hoping. It looked like at some point in her video, she um, uh, diluted the paint with water. So I don't know um, what that was about, really. And then we're going to smush that down in those little grooves there where we have grooves. Just give it a smush. But I really like that against that um, crackle paint. Of course, again, like I said, most of that is going to be covered up anyway. Um, so let's smush here. Smushy, smushy. And guys, since I've started doing the um, things like this and the... Um, jelly printing I am on the search for more paint um, I went over and you know did just some price con comparisons of the Arteza I think is the name of that um, I have saw Amy over at Crafty Cat use their products I think she's you know something where an affiliate of some sort um, so if I decide to buy I'll probably go over and go follow her link so that you know she gets a little something back so help support her that way um, because yeah if you really just you know look at you know the price comparisons and all um, they look to me to be pretty much the same as far as their prices. I think they've got like a 32 pack for like $46, I think. So, we'll see. I haven't jumped the gun yet, but I'm thinking that, you know, if I stay in into doing stuff with paint then I'm definitely going to um, need some more paint I like how that texture is coming up there I probably shouldn't be worried about that in the middle right guys because it's going to be covered up I think that one's good enough. I know I'm almost out of black. This is all the black that I have, so um, which I do have, you know, other projects waiting in the wings. I'm so excited. I have, you know, really here lately things are getting a little bit better. Not that I don't, you know, <clears throat> still have some really bad days with, you know. All this mess my husband's got our marriage in. Um, 
yeah, I'm definitely now having more good days than bad days. Um, and Dee Dee Farago, I want to thank you because, guys, she has really, you know, been here for me. We are, even though our, you know, situations are different, and I'm not going to speak on hers. Uh, they are very, very similar with what's going on, but are some differences. But thank you, Dee Dee. I have no idea how much I appreciate your love and support and kind words and encouragement and you know the she respects my decision to you know stay here and try to make my marriage work it's um you know 20 years and I think it's something that needs um you know you just have to make sure I think you know it's a long time, a lot of years, a lot of, you know, things built and made together, you know, so, okay, so we have that one, um, but yeah, uh, I got kind of sidetracked there, didn't I, guys, um, but yeah, definitely having more good days than bad days, and, uh, you know, I have lots of projects I want to do. I uh, have some exciting things. So, uh, let's see. When will this air? Hold on, guys. Let me see when it airs. Because if it's already aired, I might be able to um, talk about it. Let's see. Okay. So, this video, guys, is going to go up on Sunday. And... Um, so, since the thing technically happened yesterday, and this video, which is was Saturday, because this video is posted on Sunday, even though I'm filming it on Thursday. Now, if that's not confusing, I don't know what is. But any of who, my exciting news would have happened yesterday. So, that means I could talk about it. Because up till now, mum was the word. So, guys, everyone knows, or most of you know, um... Tracy Fox, and uh, that yesterday, um, her new um, magazine would have came out, the Foxy Rag, and uh, guess who was featured? None other than moi, and I am so excited, absolutely over the moon when I sent stuff in and um, they gave me the word back that I would be featured in their magazine. The fo is it the Foxy Rag? Mm. Yep. So you guys going over there, um, it is a magazine that's a digital download if you are, yeah, that's a download if you're not familiar. So you download it and print it out at home. Uh, I had bought her first two um editions of that and i have really enjoyed those and in those anyway and i am going to assume that um this one will be <coughs> excuse me no different um you know there were like coupon codes in the back for shops and different things like that so um, you know, I'm filming on Thursday, so I don't know exactly what's all in the magazines um, and if that will be on there, too, because um, I haven't actually seen the whole, um, I haven't seen the whole magazine. Um, all I did was uh, saw my spread um, because they wanted me to, you know, make sure that what they came up with uh, was good for me. Uh, and of course, I, you know, sent in more information than they, they asked for, and they condensed it down and did a fabulous job, um, you know, condensing that down. Um, absolutely beautiful job. Uh, but yep, I am um, very, very excited. Let's see what I am looking for here. Okay, so the Arteza 
Um, it looks like Tracy Fox also does uh, some stuff with them. I'm assuming with their products. Uh, there are some uh, video playlists um, on her channel. Let's see. Yep, she has one in there. Let's see. Yep. So she does have a playlist in there. Um... So, yeah, her website is TracyFoxCreations.com is her website. Um, Love Junk Journals is her uh, Etsy. And then, of course, she has YouTube. So, if I don't forget, I will put um, her links below, like I said, if I don't forget. And, uh, yes, it's the Foxy Rag. And I think this will be issue number four, maybe. If I'm not mistaken, please forgive me if I'm wrong. Because, like I said, I haven't saw her video yet where they've put it out. But she did announce yesterday that it is officially done. She couldn't believe it was done three days early. And it's supposed to hit on um, Saturday, which would have been yesterday from the day that this airs. Um, so, yes, really excited, guys. Um, again, I love my spread um, in there, Tracy Fox and your whole team. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much um, for, yeah, giving, giving me this opportunity uh, to be involved in something so amazing. I just don't have enough words. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking about that, even though I'm really, 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 really excited. So you guys go check it out. Please go and buy the magazine because I know for a fact that they put a lot of time uh, and energy and money into making this magazine uh, and having it available to us to enjoy. Uh, and I'm just sitting here letting this uh, paint dry all over me. So I wonder if these are... Nope, look, they're not dry enough yet. Okay, guys, so after that exciting, exciting, exciting news, um, and I will probably... I may end up, because like I said, it's Thursday when I'm filming, I may end up putting out, um, after it is released, um, a little something, uh, like a bonus video, um, maybe I'll print out my spread and show it to you guys, uh, and then of course I'll leave the link below on that, so maybe that'll be 2 o'clock, because her stuff comes on pretty early, because she's in the United Kingdom, so, um, I may do a little extra video, a bonus video if you will and just show you guys uh, my page and of course leave all the links I'm double talking I'm saying everything twice I'm sorry I'm just so excited guys and I feel so good today so these are not dry yet even with all that rambling so I'm gonna pause you guys yet again take these to my bathroom uh, get them dried with the hair dryer and then we'll come back um, and do some fun stuff with them we'll just see where it takes us because I have no plan I have no plan at all. I have sponges. I have, um, yeah, what are these called? Paint brushes. I have paint. And, oh, I have a little dropper. I saw her use a dropper, but I don't think it, I think this dropper is too big. Anyway, she like shook it on there. So we'll see. We might do some shook shook. All right, guys, I'm going to pause you. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I am back. So these are all dry. Um, they did try to, um, you know, curl up just a little bit. So we'll just pull those back down and it just does that with that heat okay so i'm not positive or not but i think i told you before the pause um or i don't know if i told you or not but i'll go ahead and tell you now so um i will leave a link to this below but as of right now which is thursday uh tracy fox actually has uh four issues uh, I know I've gotten one and two, and the video that I saw on YouTube for three was like five months ago, I think, and we all know what was going on with me five, six months ago, you know, back in 1st of December, uh, my husband had a stroke and then all the other big mess that happened, um, so I missed three and four. Or maybe I saw three but missed four. I don't know. It's something like that. But I missed something. Uh, but she does have four currently listed um, in her shop. And that is um, Foxy Rag. 
and I will leave a link to this below in the description box. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like that so that I can find it from my computer. Uh, yeah, so we hearted that. So we'll be able to find it. Um, so yeah, just, um, yeah, there's four. So I'm assuming this will be the fifth issue um, that I will be featured in. So, um, and it, it you guys got to go see it if you didn't do it. It's like two pages. It's two pages. I got two pages. I am so excited. And, you know, I've had to take all this time and, you know, Mum was the worst, so I couldn't say anything. So, yeah, I kept it mummed, but, yeah, so excited. Again, thank you so much, Tracy. Okay, so that's enough about that right now. So what are we going to do? Um, where are we going to start at as far as paint? Um, now, I kind of like this. This is a metallic texture paint. It's a really pretty color. Um, but do I want to start out with... Let's, oh, let's start out with some rose gold. Let's do that. Okay. So we will get a little bit of this on here. So uh, I need a paintbrush. That would be good. I think I will use this one maybe. Maybe okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, you know, no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to put some on there. And again, I'm going to more concentrate to the outside edges um, because of so much of the middle that's going to be you know covered up so there's no sense in wasting that paint behind something that's going to be covered up I think alright so we will let's get some on here it is a pretty day today so far we are supposed to get um, rain like Lord pretty much the seven day forecast although I think Saturday is not too much we do have a chance of rain today it's overcast but does it really look like it's ready to rain or anything are you going to work okay I love you you have a good day um, yeah it's just overcast out there but it still feels really good um, outside so that's good and I'm gonna stop when this is gone because I don't want to squirt out anymore and we have more that's gonna go on here anyway okay so let's get this out of here maybe Ooh. That is black. I'm going to have this stuff all over my hands. Hopefully it'll all come off. Right, guys? Alright. Okay, we got that out. So let's get that color off of here. And, okay, babe. Love you, too. Have a great day. Hey, don't forget to look for... Um, those, um, push pins. yeah, push pins. Uh, yeah. Uh, All right, just send me pictures if you can. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is metallic silver. I love silver. All right, so we will. Just get some little splashes of that silver here and there. Alright. And then next. don't really remember how um, far over 
that's going to come, I think, pretty far. So, yeah. Just do that since, you know, it's going to be covered up. Anyway, get some of that paint off of there. Okay, so there's those two colors. Um, let's see. So now, if I remember correctly, so I've used this. This is pretty thick. Oops. Come here, Cap. Alright. This is so pretty. Try to make sure I get enough on of this on here so you can see it really good because I really love that color. It's like a real pop there. But yeah, so you know, sun's not shining, but it uh, as far as the uh, temperature. It's really good. Okay, I think we're going to stop there on that one. Let's put some here. Here and there is all we're doing, guys. Okay, I think I'm going to squirt out just a tad bit more. I want to you know, do a whole lot and waste it. Again, just doing this to clean a little bit off that brush all right so we got that okay guys what are we gonna do next Let's see I have no idea um, let's see let's see oh that's gonna be so pretty and I was thinking about now I got some um, fabric out and I was thinking about putting fabric behind it um, but I don't know I want to unless I want to put just a tad coming out one upper corner or something because I don't want to cover up these colors okay guys so I know I want some white somehow okay so um, I don't know what I'm doing no clue what I'm doing Um, okay, no judgment, guys. I don't know if this is right. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I did see her put a little bit of water in some paint. And I'm not sure why or what the reason was. I probably just put too much water in there. So, I got my handy-dandy skewers. To mix this with because it looked like she had something really thin and she used this little dropper thing and she just <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> and just see how it comes out we're gonna do that in white but we're gonna wait on that because I'm not ready for that I want some pink you guys know want some pink gotta have it do we want I don't think we want regular gold we'll just do this <clears throat> yeah okay we'll figure it out <sighs> yep like the pink Guys, know that's my favorite color. 
Alright, Lori, don't overpower it with the pink. Try not to. I'm going to pause you guys for just a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had a <coughs> sneeze coming on, and of course, I still have this old cough. Can't seem to get rid of. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Yeah, my throat is getting quite agitated. Um, I think I need to sneeze. I'm so sorry. Oh, God bless me. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, but I have to say, that sneeze felt so good. Okay. So, I think maybe we'll just put just a tad of that pink on this on this right here guys just some little smushes smushes of the pink here and there in the end that will also use up this paint without wasting it alright guys so I'm going to uh, no, I'm not going to yet. We're going to try this. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Uh, okay, running out of space here. And now we'll get this dropper. Okay. Okay, hers came out more in circles. Mine are like blobs. So, um, perhaps the end of this tip is too big. I just happened to... Okay, so at work, you guys know I work in grocery retail. So, at work, we have um, a section which is called our go bags. Um, and that is, you know, when a customer doesn't want anything or... You know, all day long when we see people, or not really see them, but come across items that, you know, customers have um, thought they wanted and then didn't, and just sit it down on a shelf somewhere as opposed to bringing it to us, um, because, you know, they don't put it back where it goes. Um, they're called go-backs. Um, so this was actually... A go bag and I said hmm how ironic that I just saw Tracy a few days ago use a dropper and this is I think it says it's a um, okay so this is a glass medicine dropper it was like 99 cents for two so yeah it's glass so it should last us a while okay I guess I could not clean that up while you guys are watching or okay so get that off there all right, so there's those. So I am going to pause you. No, do we want something else? No. Okay, so at this point, I'm seriously going to pause you, I promise. We are, I'm going to go and dry these, um, and then we're going to come back. And when I come, when we come back, I actually have uh, this uh, creative, I don't know what that says, uh, rose gold glaze. So I'm thinking we'll put that around some of the edges uh, and just use, you know, our finger spreading that on there. So I'm going to pause you guys and go dry these and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. So these are all good and dry. So now we are just going to take this and hopefully it will clean up okay because I don't think last time I used my fingers they're a hot mess anyway okay so what I wanted to do was take this and go around the edges here and then 
when I was drying these and thinking about what I was doing next I thought perhaps the pages the paper maybe we will go around those as well I really like this color too so pretty and then after we get this done this part done I may just end the video for today because my yeah my throat's getting kind of irritated give it a break and dry these and then in another video perhaps the next video we can get the plates put on there make a bind it with something else because that shouldn't take too long and these will be done um, we'll actually put the plates on there and decide if we want something you know sticking up out of one side of it or what we want there in another video okay I am liking that it's kind of subtle but you could definitely see it and I think this stuff I got at um, oh, it was actually I think it was at Michael's on closeout markdown manager special whatever you call those because when I go in there I hit that first and see what's there that way if it's something there could be something there that I actually came in looking for that has happened before um, so I always look there first to see if I can get a deal and I pretty much always end up getting something all right guys I think that is done let's see if we can get this back on there because there's a lot of under there that we can use come on Lynn work with me here nope it's not going guys okay there we go well nope felt it pop okay guys why don't I stop all right guys so that is going to be uh, oh I didn't put it around here like I said I was gonna do you did wit what are you doing okay so yep leave it to me to say I'm gonna do something and then not do it because I forget all right there's that one um oh it's over there I was say I'm missing one what did I do Okay. We found it. We found it. Crisis averted. Alright. I think that's good. Place it here on the mat. Don't want to get anything on my Aunt Linda's sewing table, which most of you know is my late Aunt Linda. It's her was her sewing desk and it's now my crafting desk she passed in March of last year so that was you know a major loss to our family she was a goofball huge supporter of my journal making so yeah miss her so much all right guys so that is done so this video is officially done and in the next video we'll put it together and you know no longer than that's going to take um uh we'll combine it with something else so thank you guys so much for putting up with me today i appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time Bye bye